Hello and welcome to Networking Simplify. This time in the second part of the tutorial, how two computers connected to a layer to switch communicate. I am using Cisco Packet Tracer to show the detailed communication in step by step. I have connected three computers PC1, PC2, and PC3 to a layer to switch. All the three PCs are in the same subnet. PC1's IP address is 192.168.1.1 and the default class C subnet mask. We can also see the MAC address of PC1. PC2's MAC uh, PC2's IP address is 192.168.1.2 and PC3's IP address is 192.168.1.3. This is an initial configuration and there is no communication between the devices occurred yet. That is why all the PC's ARP table is empty and the switch's MAC address table is also empty. If we see from the command prompt of PC1, ARP A, it says there is no ARP entry in PC1 found. This is same for all the PCs, ARP, no ARP entries found in PC3. ARP. No ARP entries found in PC2. At the switch, show MAC address table. It shows that there is no entry in the MAC address table of switch. Now, I would like to show how two computers communicate in a layer 2 switch environment. PC1 knows the IP address of PC2 and wants to communicate with PC2. PC1 sends an ICMP echo request to see whether PC2 is reachable. To send a frame from PC1 to PC2, PC1 needs to learn the MAC address of PC2. In PC1's ARP table, there is no MAC address associated with PC2's IP address. To simulate the communication and capture the data at every step, I am using Packet Tracer simulation window. I am putting a simple protocol data unit, uh, PDU, between PC1 and PC2. PC2 this PDU is an ICMP ping message. We can see that the source is PC1, destination is PC2, type is ICMP message. And from the simulation window, by clicking the capture forward button, we can see how the frame goes one, one step at a time. Okay, at first step, at layer 3, the ICMP ping process starts the ping request. The ICMP ping process creates an ICMP echo request message and sends it to, to the lower process. Source IP address is set to PC1's port first Ethernet zeros IP address that is 192.168.1.1. PC1 sets the destination IP address to PC2's IP address that is 192.168.1.2. At layer 2, our process looks for the next hop IP address to find its associated MAC address. The next hop IP address is not in the ARP table. The
the R process tries to send an ARP request for that IP address and buffers this packet until it gets a reply. Okay. Next, the ARP process constructs a request for the target IP address. PC1 encapsulates the PDU into an Ethernet frame. First Ethernet 0 sends out the frame. Then we click uh, capture forward button once again to see what happens next. At the next step, the receiving device is the switch. The receiving device is switch. First Ethernet 0, 1 interface receives the frame. The frame source MAC address does not exist in the MAC table of switch. Switch adds a new MAC address entry into its table. The frame destination MAC address is a broadcast. The switch processes the frame. The switch decapsulates the PDU from the Ethernet frame. The frame is an ARP frame. The ARP process processes it. This is a broadcast frame. The switch sends out the frame to all ports except the receiving port. We click capture forward button once again. The switch sends out the frame to all ports except the receiving port. At this step, the receiving device is PC3. PC3's first Ethernet 0 interface receives the frame. The frame's destination MAC address is a broadcast address. PC3 decapsulates the PDU from the Ethernet frame. The frame is an R frame. The R process processes it. The R frame is a request. The R requests target IP address does not match the receiving port's IP address. The R process drops the frame. Next, PC2 also receives the frame at its first Ethernet 0 interface. The frame's destination MAC address is broadcast. PC2 decapsulates the PDU from the Ethernet, head, Ethernet frame. The, the frame is an R frame. The R process processes it. The R frame is a request. The R requests target IP address matches the receiving port's IP address that is 192.168.1.2. The R process updates the R table with received information. On the R message, source MAC address is PC2's MAC address. Target MAC address is PC1's MAC address. And target IP address is PC1's IP address that is 192.168.1.1. At the next step, the receiving device is the switch. First Ethernet 0 to int 0 slash 2 interface receives the frame. The frame source MAC address does not exist in the MAC table of the switch. The switch adds a new MAC entry to its table. This is a unicast frame. Switch looks in its MAC table for the destination MAC address. The destination MAC address is associated with switch's first Ethernet 01 interface. This is an access port. The switch sends the frame out that port. At the next step, PC1's first Ethernet 0 interface receives the frame. The frame's destination MAC address matches the receiving port's MAC address. 
PC1 decapsulates the PDU from the Ethernet frame. The frame is an ARP frame. The ARP process processes it. The ARP frame is a reply. The ARP process updates the ARP table with received information. The ARP process takes out and sends the buffered packets waiting for this ARP reply. PC1 encapsulates the PDU into an Ethernet frame and sends out from first Ethernet zero interface. At the next step, at this step, switches first Ethernet zero one interface receives the frame. The frame source MAC address was found in the MAC table of the switch. This is a unicast frame. The switch look into its MAC table for the destination MAC address. In MAC table, destination MAC address is associated with first Ethernet 02 port, which is an access port. Switch sends the frame out that port. At this step, PC2's first Ethernet 0 interface receives the frame. The frame's destination MAC address matches the receiving port's MAC address. PC2 decapsulates the PDU from the Ethernet frame. The packet's destination IP address matches PC2's IP address. PC2 de-encapsulates the packet. The packet is an ICMP packet. The ICMP process processes it. The ICMP process received an echo request message. The ICMP process replies to the echo request by setting ICMP type to echo reply. The destination IP address is in the same subnet. PC2 sets the next stop to destination that is PC1's IP address. The next stop IP address is a unicast. The R process looks it up in the address table. The next hop IP address is in the ARP table. The R process sets the frame's destination MAC address to the one found in the table. PC2 encapsulates the PDU into an Ethernet frame. PC2's First Ethernet 0 port sends out the frame. At the next step, the receiving device is the switch. Switches first Ethernet 0 to receives the frame. The frame source MAC address was found in the MAC table of the switch. This is an unicast frame. Switch looks in its MAC table for the destination MAC address. Destination MAC address is associated with switch's first Ethernet 01 interface. First Ethernet 01 interface sends out the frame. At the next step, at the next step, PC1's first Ethernet 0 interface receives the frame. The frame's destination MAC address matches with the receiving port's MAC address. PC1 decapsulates the PDU from the Ethernet frame. The packet's destination IP address matches the PC1's IP address. The packet is an ICMP packet. The ICMP process received an echo reply message. The ping process received an echo reply message. When PC1 receives an echo reply from PC2, it then knows that PC2 is reachable. This is how two computers connected to a layer 2 switch communicate with each other in detail. Hope this tutorial is informative for you. Thank you for watching.